Since the 1950s, the Tama Museum of Art has been building its permanent collection uh, to include noted works that explore the, and celebrate arts and culture in our region, but in a larger narrative of American art. And this exhibition in a decade, recent acquisitions into our permanent collection just does that, just that it celebrates what the gifts have been in these past 10 years. I'm Cindy Peterson, the museum's executive director, and with me today is Ray Cass, who has been instrumental in assisting in the, uh, the permanent collection and growing that, especially in the photography area. Ray? These photographs that are right around me here actually come from my first organizational project. It was a survey of Southern photography called I Shall Save One Land Unvisited that opened at the Corcoran and closed at the International Center of Photography in New York. And um, one of the interesting things about it, with the exception of Paul Kwaleski, maybe, and Lyle Bonger here, which is, this is a Mardi Gras scene, most of these photographs could have been taken anywhere. That's one of the things that came out of that exhibition. But uh, I was pleased to be able to give a cross-section of works from that show to the museum, particularly these these unique pieces by John Menapace, the North Carolina photographer who died in 2010. But I probably would not have done the exhibition if it weren't for John Menapace because he had been an important influence on my life when I was an undergraduate student at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. And I love the formality in his work. He often works with a kind of bilateral symmetry. Um, one thing being reflected by another or side by side with another. And you see some beautiful examples of, of that, like just the way this phone line seems to offset the whole diagonal thrust of this street. Quite beautiful, I think. And then the strong parallel lines of the building. Of all the artists in the exhibition, uh, he's the most formal. Uh, this is a beauty, I think. This is my old house at Yellow Sulphur, but it's just a bamboo garden rake laying next to a steel pole. And the rake handle and the shadow uh, talk to each other. Here, a fragile vine accentuates the hard corner of a masonry building. I just love his work. I love this photo by William Noland. It's of his daughter, Nora, and uh, oh, this is maybe 20 or 25 years old now, and the juxtaposition of the baby with this Nezca figurine. It has some cultural reference to Catalina Aracena, his wife, uh, is Nora's mother. And um, oh, I traded for this a long time ago. It's just wonderful to see it again. He's a North Carolina photographer who's taught at Duke for many years and is now retired, I think, living in Hillsborough. Wonderful artist. And this is a painting by Marvin Saltzman, who was a professor at Chapel Hill and an important teacher for me. And it, it's about 1960. Um, it's, I love the impasto oil and linear elements in it. That, are still relatively characteristic of, of his work, which has, which has developed a great deal and will soon be acquiring a new piece for the museum. That'll be a recent piece. He's 90 years old. Thank you, Ray. And thank you for your generous gifts to the collection, your involvement with the museum for over 40 years, not only as a guest curator, artist, but also collector and, and donor, which really exemplifies and, and continues to grow our photography uh, donations and gifts and artwork. Well, great. Thank you for having me. I've enjoyed it. <laughs>